police staff here in Kenya and the report now claims Kenya's army is involved in a $400 million sugar smuggling market in Somalia. The report also claims that the Kenya Defense Forces also finds the Al-Qaeda militants it is supposed to be fighting. The report follows an investigation by Nairobi's journalist for Justice Rights Group. It is based on months of research conducted in Somalia and Kenya, including interviews with uh, seven Kenyan officers, United Nations officials, Western intelligence sources, sugar traders, porters, and drivers. The report also accused Kenyan troops of widespread human rights abuses, including rape, torture, and abduction, and conducting airstrikes targeting crowds of people and animals rather than the militant training camps it claims to burn. Kenyan army spokesman Colonel David Obono denied the allegations, insisting Kenyan soldiers were fighting hard as part of the 22,000 strong African Union mission in Somalia. Kenyan army has denied repeated allegations of war profiteering since invading Somalia in 2011 after a string of kidnapping of tourists and aid workers blamed on the Al Shabaab.